from the supply closet. Oh, thanks, Vicky. Did you shake it to see if it's good? We have a better way. Test the light bulb, Vicky. <laughs> it's a three-way bulb. <laughs> That's wild. How'd she do that, Dad? Well, she has a built-in micro generator with a 440 volt capacity. That makes sense. <laughs> mm, we only got to get to work, honey. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, Vicky, put that bulb in the living room lamp. I'll get it. Okay, son. Hello. Oh, hi. It's Grandpa Bill from Omaha. Yeah, I'm fine, Grandpa. I grew a whole inch since you last saw me. No, I mean taller, not wider. <laughs> No, I don't really have a girlfriend yet. But there's a girl I kind of like. She's 13. I prefer older, more experienced women. Give me the phone, Jamie. Okay, here's Mom. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, we're just fine. You and Mom okay? Great. Oh, well, when will you be here? Oh, well, wonderful. Yeah, we'll pick you up at the airport. Okay, well, we'll see you Saturday then. Love to Mom. Okay, bye-bye. They're coming to visit us, Jamie. Great. <laughs> yeah, that was a short day at the office. The one day I've got an important meeting, my car battery is dead. Dad, Grandpa just called. They're coming to visit us Saturday. They are? That's great. Except for one thing. How are we going to tell my dad about Vicky? Hmm? How are we going to tell him that we have a beautiful little robot? when she says hello and carries him to his room? <laughs> Jamie, the point is, is that your grandfather may not be too thrilled about having a robot in the family. After working for the same company for 40 years, he was fired and replaced by a robot. Oh. And he's still bitter about it. He doesn't even like the fact that I work for a robotics company. The fact is, he really hates robots. He really hates robots. <laughs> Nothing gets past those pink little microsensor ears of hers. Listen, why are we worrying, huh? I mean, once he meets Vicky, he'll he'll love her like we do, huh? And then we'll tell him the truth. All right. Anyway, I got to get to work. Come on, Vicky, help me get my car started. <laughs> You're not gonna have her push it. Oh no, honey, I'm gonna have her carry it piggyback. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm glad you told us. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. I guess I gotta see. What are you gonna do, Ted? Well, these are attached to my car battery. Now, Vicki, hold these. When I give you the word, you give it your full power, okay? I don't believe it. She's gonna jumpstart Dad's car. <laughs> okay, go, Vicki. My full power. <laughs> Stop. I hope I never get hot flashes like that. Hey, everybody, we're back from the airport. 
Oh, the place yeah. looks lovely Where as you is everybody? <laughs> oh, <laughs> darling. Hey, let me look at you. Is that a handsome fella? <laughs> I never argue with my elders. <laughs> Did you bring me a present, Grandpa? Jamie, that's rude. I'm sorry. But as long as I opened up the subject, did you? <laughs> How could we forget our favorite grandson? Yeah, especially when you're our only grandson. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I love it. Daddy's always wanted one of those. What is it? <laughs> that is an African medicine man mask. It keeps away evil spirits. Hmm, I would imagine it would keep away his wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good to see yeah. you. And you all look wonderful. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Mom, Dad, have a seat. Uh, we've got a little surprise for you. Oh, what? Well, it's concerning an addition to the family. Really? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. But you don't show a bit. You're as flat as a pancake. <laughs> no, uh, we've adopted a little girl. Oh. That's right. Well, that's just as good. I always wanted a granddaughter. I'll get it. Turkey. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Uh, this is Harriet. Oh, what an adorable little girl. Isn't she, Bill? A real cutie. Is this our new granddaughter? No. <laughs> Leave them alone. I think they like me. What we mean is, is that Harriet's our neighbor's adorable daughter. What do you want, Harriet? Well, my mother happened to be looking out our window. And she happened to see these people come into your house. So she wondered who they were. They looked pretty important through her binoculars. <laughs> oh, is your mother a member of the neighborhood watch? No, she just watches the neighborhood. <laughs> Harriet, tell your mother these are my parents. They're going to be here for a few days, and their blood type is O. You think that'll satisfy her? No, I'm going to need more. <laughs> <laughs> if that isn't our new granddaughter, where is she? Coming right up, Mom. Vicky, come in here, please. Oh, you're gonna love her. Vicky, that's a perky little name. You called me? Oh, look, Bill. Isn't she precious? Oh. She sure is a cute little thing. Pretty as a picture. Takes after her grandma. <laughs> Vicky, I want you to meet Grandma and Grandpa Lawson. Nice to meet you, Grandma and Grandpa Lawson. <laughs> they sure are a cute little thing. I'm sure a cute little thing. <laughs> she certainly has uh, an unusual voice, Ooh. doesn't she, Bill? Well, that, that's because of her... Uh, her uh, uh, tonsils. <clears throat> She's got three of them. <laughs> Big as walnuts. Three tonsils? That's amazing. Yeah, I have a little trouble believing in myself. <laughs> well, uh, well, why don't you pack and freshen up Mom and Dad, and then we can have a nice chat. I have a better idea. Mother, why don't you unpack, and I'll stay here and have some fun with my new granddaughter. <laughs> Sound good, you little darling? Sounds good, you little darling. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are on your elephant. Deep in the African jungle. Searching for King Solomon's diamond mines. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not much of an elephant. But, uh, you see, when I travel, I carry a small trunk. <laughs> uh, that's a joke, honey. I'm glad you told me. 
<laughs> That's as close as I can get to a real elephant. A real elephant. <laughs> How'd you do that? Three tonsils. <laughs> All right. I am the guardian of the diamond mines. Uh-oh. Looks like we got trouble, Buana. Big trouble. I'm a medicine man, not just an ugly native. <laughs> no. How's it going, gang? Having fun? Ready for some dinner, Dad? Yeah. This elephant is really pooped. Off you go, honey. Oh, I hope you didn't overdo, Bill. Oh, just trying to keep up with the children. Oh, sure. <laughs> That Vicky's a real dynamo. She never runs down. Yeah, she's got enough energy in her to start a car. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch my breath. Guess I got carried away. Carried away. <laughs> Vicky, put Grandpa down. My goodness, how can a little girl be so strong? Well, Mom, I... I guess it's because she's not a real little girl. What's that supposed to mean? Dad, the truth is, Vicky stands for V-I-C-I, Voice Input Child Identicant. Vicky is a experimental robot that I invented. A robot? Yeah, here, look. <laughs> See? Well, isn't she wonderful? I, I'm so proud of Ted. He's made a major scientific breakthrough. You mean that, 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 that she is really a, a robot? Well, we don't think of her as a machine. She's become a member of the family. Yeah, and she's better than a real sister. She doesn't waste all her time in the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think, Dad? I think you did a great job. You do? Of playing me for a sucker. What? You duped me and I fell for it. Here I thought I had a real granddaughter. No matter how you dress her up, she's nothing but a, a worthless bucket of bolts. I don't like you. Oh, oh, Bill. No, don't old Bill me. I feel cheated. Dad, just think of all the good that a robot like Vicky can do for people. Yeah, I know what robots can do for people. They can take their jobs. Mother? I'm packing, we're leaving. Oh. Dad, Dad, listen. Yeah, next you'll invent a, a robot grandfather and I'll be totally useless. <laughs> oh, Ted. Son, I'm sorry, but I don't agree with him at all. Thanks. I think you're adorable, Vicky. Grandpa doesn't like me. I'm just a worthless bucket of bolts. <laughs> Mom, Dad, look! Grandpa made Vicky cry. Jamie, robots don't cry. He's right, Ted. There's a tear on her cheek. <laughs> Joni, honey, Vicky doesn't have feelings and emotions. Well, if that isn't a tear, what is it? Well, as an expert in robotics, I can tell you this. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Huh? Uh, oh, hello, young lady. What you doing? I'm packing up and leaving. Boy, that was fast. Usually takes a couple of days before I get on people's nerves. <laughs> well, it's not because of you, Harriet. It's because of that phony baloney granddaughter of mine. Now, don't blame her. All little girls can't be as charming as I am. <laughs> well, tell you the truth. I wish you were my granddaughter. Oh, I'd like that. My grandfather never plays with me. Why not? He's dead. <laughs> well, there's nothing personal about it. Maybe you could be my substitute grandfather. Well, I'd be honored. Be nice to have a granddaughter that was real flesh and blood. You wouldn't know anything about that. Flesh and blood, it's in my memory bank. What do you mean, your memory bank? Oh, that's a technical expression, Harriet. You see, we all have memory banks. 
Except your bank is overdrawn. <laughs> Don't you want to bring that walking scrap heap in here? Get her out of my sight. Grandpa, Vicky's not really that bad. Once you get to know her, you'll really warm up to her transistors. Forget it. Forget it. I'd rather have a hot water bottle. Grandpa, what's the matter? I'm not feeling so good. What is it? I better go get your grandma. Grandma, Dad, Mom, come quick. Grandpa's sick. It's going to be okay, Grandpa. They'll be here in a minute. Just lie still. I will. Darling. Jamie, what's wrong? What is it? What is it? My chest. Oh. Terrible pain. Oh. Oh, I'll get your pills. What pills? Well, he didn't want to worry you. We did not have a bit of a heart problem. Oh, oh no. Let me go. Johnny, call the paramedics. I'll get some extra blankets. Dad, it's going to be okay. Uh. They'll be right back, Grandpa. Just hold my hand. <sighs> Grandpa! Grandpa! What do we do, Vicky? I don't think he's breathing. Stand away from the patient, please. <laughs> His heart is fibrillating. What? Where'd you get that? From Trapper John. <laughs> the proper procedure is ventricular defibrillation. What's that? Electric shock. Well, don't just stand there. Do it. Do it. Clear. <laughs> you did it, Vicky. He's breathing. I owe it all to Gonzo. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, how's he doing? You won't believe what Gonzo did. Mm -hmm. I mean, Vicky. What'd she do? She defib... Fibber... She jump-started Grandpa. <laughs> Thanks, I'll hold. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you shouldn't let a little girl carry those heavy cases. Grandma, she's not a little girl. She could carry the whole house if she wanted to. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, you are so adorable. I'm an adorable scrap heap. Oh, you are not. <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, you're all set, Mom. Your flight home is leaving on time. Thank you, dear. Oh, I'd still feel better if you'd stay with us for a few more days. Well, after being cooped up in that hospital for a whole week, Bill wants to go home. Oh, he's such a stubborn old fool. <laughs> hey, everybody. Here's the patient. Huh? Does he look terrific or what, huh? <laughs> Never felt better. I feel like a new man. <laughs> But I still feel like the same woman. <laughs> Remember your heart. <laughs> I'll bet you're sure glad to get out of that hospital, eh, Grandpa? Oh, boy, you can say that again. I don't know which was worse, all those tubes they stuck in me or the jello. <laughs> well, if you're going to make your play, we better get going. Yeah, Vicky, uh, take the suitcases to the car, please. Now, I don't need that erector set to help me. He's a stubborn old fool. <laughs> Danny, give her a hand. Yeah. You may not want Vicky's help now, you old goat, but you certainly needed it a week ago. What do you mean? Dad, we didn't want to tell you before because of your condition, but Vicky saved your life. What are you all talking about? It was the paramedics saved my life. No, it was Vicky. She gave your heart an electrical jolt before they even got here. If it hadn't been for Vicky, instead of being an old goat, you'd be a dead duck. <laughs> Is that the truth, Mother? You bet it is. I'll sit, Dad. Okay, let's get going, everybody. Oh, Come on. Wait a minute, son. Just hold your horses. Uh, I want to have a word with Vicky. With Vicky? In private. So uh, would you all get out? Go on, scoot, all of you. You got it, Dad. <clears throat> Come over here. Come here, sit next to me. Well, I, I hear you saved my life. You got it, Dad. <laughs> you see, uh, I had a very good reason for not liking you. You really hate robots? <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to. But I confess, I'm beginning to fall in love with an irresistible little robot named Vicky. 
So, uh, <clears throat> well, I just want to say thanks for, for saving my life, honey. I jump-started you. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Now, will you give your Grandpa Bill a big hug? A big hug. <laughs> She's giving him a big hug. Uh-oh. She just saved his life. I hope she doesn't squeeze it out of him. You can all stop peeking and come in now. <laughs> oh, Bill, I'm glad you made up with her. So am I. I gotta admit, I really flipped for Vicky. I hope you do for me, too. Flip for you. <laughs> Vicky, sweetheart, come here. I think I can safely say <clears throat> that there isn't another granddaughter in the world like you. Oh, I'm going to miss you, sweetheart. So am I. You're really something special. Look, Dad, there's another tear on her cheek. Ted, she must really be developing emotions. Yeah, she seems to be getting closer to being a real female. She cries when she's sad, and she cries when she's happy. <laughs> she's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curves. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, brings love and laughter everywhere. How'd she do that, Dad? Well, she has a built-in micro-generator with a 440-volt capacity. That makes sense. <laughs> well, I gotta get to work, honey. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, Vicky, put that bulb in the living room lamp. I'll get it. Okay, son. Hello? Oh, hi. It's Grandpa Bill from Omaha. Yeah, I'm fine, Grandpa. I grew a whole inch since you last saw me. No. Mm, honey, that was great. Mm. What was it? <laughs> Here is the new light bulb you wanted from the supply closet. Oh, thanks, Vicky. Did you shake it to see if it's good? We have a better way. Test the light bulb, Vicky. <laughs> it's a three-way bulb. <laughs> That's why I mean taller, not wider. <laughs> no, I don't really have a girlfriend yet. But there's a girl I kinda like. She's 13. I prefer older, more experienced women. <laughs> Give me the phone, Jamie. Okay, here's mom. Okay, bye. Hi, Dad. Oh, we're just fine. You and Mom okay? Great. Oh, well, when will you be here? Oh, well, wonderful. Yeah, we'll pick you up at the airport. Okay, well, we'll see you Saturday. She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft girls. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle. Grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, and she'll make your heart take flight. La 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 la. She's fantastic, made of plastic, microchips here and there. She's a small wonder, brings love and. Thank you.